DJ ATV. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting edition of DJ MTV Daily News Update. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you, depending on the time zone at which this video got to you. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video or you're a returning subscriber, please do not forget to go yourself further, like this video, share, and subscribe to all our channels. You can also check us out on our website, www.djmtv.news. Let's go straight up into the main news. You cannot threaten the People's Democratic Party, Wiki attack Philip Shaibu. Hey guys, this is still DJM TV Daily News Update. Nesom Wiki, the governor of River State, has publicly lashed the Edo State Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu. Governor Wiki, who angrily said that the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibu, lacked the infantry to threaten to dump the People's Democratic Party. He came kneeling down and begging for tickets when they were kicked out of the All Progressive Congress APC prior to the last governorship election in Edo State. In a short video we are about to watch, we saw Governor Wike who said that how can a deputy governor who even lost his local government area during the election in 2020 should have the guts to threaten to dump the People's Democratic Party and even lost his local government when we were in Edo State, he lost and he would come out on TV, on national TV, on media to threaten the party that they are alternative. Look at the deputy governor. It is quite unfortunate, Wiki said. We also had recall that DJM TV News reported that Philip Shaibu had followed Governor Godwin Mbaseki all the way to the People's Democratic Party when the former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adams Oshomole, frustrated them out of the party recently complained that they were not welcome in the People's Democratic Party. Shaibu, who appeared in media and national TV, said that himself, Obaseki and their supporters may have to leave the People's Democratic Party if the party continues to treat them as outcasts. Let's watch the videos, we'll be right back. Edo is for PDP and PDP is for Edo, only to the extent, only to the extent that our national chairman solve the problems that we want him to solve in Edo State. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, PDP was the ruling party before 2007. What led to the exit of PDP in Edo State for 12 years was when they started disregistering people. They started driving people and said they don't need membership. And that was how we took advantage and our slogan then was to rescue Edo State and let the people lead. And that was how PDP was out for 12 years. Your Excellency, God knows that Edo has to change and Edo must develop and Edo must move forward. Without election, without election, that same impunity, APC started that same impunity. They took it to another level to the extent they disqualify our leader, the governor of Edo State. And that was how our executive members, national chairman, sir, party members, state chairman, what chairman, executives of all APC resigned and said, governor, go to PDP. Not because governor and I wanted to go to PDP. They, led by Aslan Mojezwa, said, go to PDP. We will follow you, we will resign. To their way, they resign their membership and their executive position in APC and join PDP. Chairman, sir, people are saying the governor will not leave PDP. The governor will only remain in PDP when he sees his soldiers remaining in PDP. Two of us, if all of us, the way we are being treated now, decide to leave PDP, this governor will follow us. So if they say government remain PDP to the extent that his soldiers are is he in PDP. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, sir, we are angry and we need you to solve that problem. Yeah, you are not our friend, you are not a member of our party. Leave what belongs to our party. Give us our property back. That's what we're asking for. We did not beat you. Except you, you want to come back, we'll look at it. Whether we will have the one to come back. We'll look at it and see whether we'll help you. 
Even if you come now, it's late. Because I don't want you to come and carry those problem areas and come and infect us here. No, we don't want that. And our leader, let me also say this, as one of the leaders of our party. You know, this is the thing I'm talking about, impunity. You see, you see, you see in our party, I was in Madrid when I was reading and watching what a deputy governor ranting in the media. A deputy governor threatening the party that their alternative to PDP. This is the same deputy governor that they were kneeling down to beg for us to give them umbrella. Today has the F country to threaten PDP. Such a shame. These are the same people. When they were denied ticket under APC, they were running head as scatter, begging everybody to give them umbrella, and we gave them umbrella. We went and measured the part that they won that election. Today, that deputy governor will be ranting. A deputy governor will come out on television to tell PDP the alternative. I have written to the national chairman of the party. If they don't consider this standing committee against the deputy governor, I will invoke the sections of the party and I will, will make sure they must discipline that deputy governor. He said, and he lost his election at local government when he, he lost. And he will come out on television to threaten the party, the alternative. Look at the deputy governor. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate for a party. A deputy governor is wearing khaki. Look at. Look at. I, I, I have never seen a thing like this in my life. This is the first time I can see a deputy governor come out in the television to tell the party if you don't do this. Who is his father? Can you come out and tell the whole party where we ask governors? Now that he has started the trouble, let him wait. We will make sure he will never have rest. You don't come and threaten us. It won't work. And it will never work. Nobody will do what you want them to do. It will not happen. Threaten that, oh, we have an alternative. Why did you go to that alternative when the rain was beating you? You saw alternative, you didn't go. You ran down to a PDP. Banked everywhere. Said, please, don't disgrace us. Give us. We will be loyal. This is the loyalty now. It's to threaten the party. We are waiting for them. We are waiting for them. So, I said it because you are one of the leaders of our party. Tomorrow, like they say, we can start it. I'm, I'm quiet. I don't look for trouble. But don't look for my own trouble, too. <laughs> but I can't be in a party where a deputy governor will threaten the party. And they say, I should keep uh, quiet. He will be lost properly. So, next time, he will know. Kaki no be leader. How that Kaki, where did he wear? No be leader. Deceiving people, kaki kaki. So nobody should take all this. PDP is formidable and ready to win the election in 2023. Please, it's ready. It's not the ranting, ranting of people who cannot win their local uh, government. You, you are running the election, you fail in your local government, and you have the effrontery to threaten the whole party. What is your contribution to the party in the first place? Why did we not win in your local government? If you are that strong, why did we lose? It's only those who can win their local government that can say, look, if you don't give me, not somebody who has lost his local government who come and threaten us. A loser threatening us. Welcome back, guys. So here we have it. We have seen um, the governor of River State who has berated the deputy governor, Shaibo Phillips of Edo State. And he has said that he's going to make sure that the party deals squarely with him on the goals he has to threaten the party. So the question is, did Philip Scheib really threaten the People's Democratic Party that they have alternative and they will leave? Or do you think that Governor Wiki is just um, blabbing the words? What are your thoughts and comments? Drop them with us in the comment section below. Thank you for staying with us till the end of this video and as a way of reminder we are also on instagram and on facebook at djmtv also you can check us out on our website www.djmtv.news 
You can also place your advert with us at DJ MTV and be rest assured that your business would get to the desired market. Until I come your way with another exciting edition of DJ MTV Daily News Update, thank you for watching.